Stop, sorry, my camera stopped recording. So this is part two. Uh, so basically we got in and we sat down to the closing ceremony and the closing ceremony was one of the saddest thing I've ever seen. Because this is the final upcon ever. It's upcon 12 and it's the last upcon. And these guys have like been there since the first. They were crying their eyes out or like telling really funny stories about their memories. And they were crying so much and it was just really emotional for everyone there. Everyone was crying and then when we like left the, the building and we went outside in the, on the square because it stopped raining and there was like this beaut house, then there was a square and then there was a big tent that was sort of the whole convention. And we just sort of stood there crying with people we'd never known and we were like hugging people and like every time someone left and said bye, the, like everyone just turned around and said goodbye, we love you. And then um, I saw one of the hosts, Albin, standing in the window up there. So I was like, hey, there's Albin! And people were looking up, we were like cheering on. And we did this up to them, which was sort of like what they did to us at the end. And the, they were just so much... It was lovely. And he sent up this airplane with this little speech that he had on it that one of the cosplay players read. And then he held a speech and he was crying. And then we had a huge ass group hug. I hugged Hidan. And I then all out of nowhere, the one of the first people who are cosplaying Axel shows up. We f we saw two of the entire convention, both of whom we actually first talked to on the last ten minutes of the last day. And we, my friend, stood there hugging Axel for like ever. Axel from Kingdom Hearts is her biggest like fan thing. So it was a lot of fun for her to meet her. I met, we also met a Demix and a Vexen and a Marluxia from Kingdom Hearts and the Vexen and Marluxia were just amazing. Uh, we had so much fun talking to them and we were just derping like we refused to leave. The security guard actually had to like poke us before we left. And then we went home and Lexi and I cried a lot because we made <sighs> We met so many amazing people there. It was really emotional for us to leave, even though we haven't actually been there from the beginning. I'm just gonna put these away real quick. We haven't even been there since the first or anything, but this was the first upcom we went to, and it's also going to be our last. And that was really hard for us because the second we walked in through those doors, we felt accepted because people weren't staring at us because we looked stupid. Like people do here and what it feels like people do everywhere, and we knew that these people love us even if they don't know us. And because they even said that a few people, like, we have people walking around with signs, um, signs like these, I'm just gonna, this was our sign actually, we went around with this, and it says, free hugs, and people walking around with these, and, oh god, it smells like I've come, sorry, <laughs> and people walking around with these, and we got hugs all the damn time, people were just so nice, it was, that was the thing, people were nice to us, and, for two people who have always felt like outsiders because of our like what we like and what we enjoy doing and everything and parents thinking that there will be no future with watching movies anonymous and read or read maybe but all that stuff and going into a place where there are like 3,000 people who love what you love and understand you it's it was liberating it was unbelievable I can't even explain it it was the weirdest and the most amazing feeling I've ever had in my entire life and it was definitely the best weekend of my life and I still get a little emotional when I think of the last day because it was just so sad and um, we had a lot of fun though and I just ugh, okay I gotta show you guys what I got now before I die um, sorry and okay so I thought I'll just start with uh, what's in the back here so I that done okay so first of all I got um Crap, I'm gonna start crying. Um, I got book one, two, and fuck it. I got book one, two, and three of Black Butler or Kurushitsu, and I already finished <laughs> I finished them the, like the first day I got home. They're so amazing. And I got, for some reason, I got so like headband, you know, this thing. Oh god, so fixed, I'm keeping it. And I got a cat tail, which you can like bend and shit. And I got, you saw the ears in the video, like the little ears that you put like that, you know, there they are. And I got two paws to put on your hand. And I got this Hanakimi thing, which is sort of a, like a little notebook that you like make notes and stuff. I got a Kurushitsu wallet uh, with a very sexual chill at the back. 
Yeah, they're very sexual. Um, oh god, I look stupid. Let's get off. Oh, oh no, I'm looking more stupid. Whatever, I don't care. Um, and then Jamie. Uh, I kind of got Orn High School on DVD. Like the entire season, the the entire show on DVD. Like you know, for like you know, one, two, three, four discs of Orn High School. And they're so cute, look at the CDs, they're like Tamagyari, the twins, Moody and Honey, and then Koya and the manager for some reason. And the, the most important thing I'm gonna bring with me from Apcon is actually the free hug sign. Because all those damn hugs, it made you feel so accepted and so warm and so loved and... I don't even know guys, it was... If you get the chance to go to a convention where you are staying over and you're staying there for a few days, do it. Go! Don't even think about it twice if it's not gonna be fun. I promise you it's going to be amazing. And I wanna give a special shout out to Kingdom Hearts School Days. It's a Swedish cosplay group called Rejected Cosplay and they do Kingdom Hearts sketches on YouTube. I'm linking their channel down below. And also special shout out to Kim Pon and Vexen and Malusha, you know who you are. And, um, well of course the Axel and Demix, but I already shouted out with their channel, so. Um, amazing thanks to you, Lexi, for coming with me. I could not have gone alone. I would never have gone alone, trust me, but with you there was actually really amazing. This was, I just love having someone that I could share this with. And um, you were amazing. And to Albin and Kim. Love you guys. To all of the people who work in the host club, I'm linking their deviant art down there. Check them out, please. They are amazing and they're so nice. <sighs> yeah. And every single goddamn person who has an upcom wristband from upcom 12, I love you. You're my best friend. And I will always be there for you if you need a crazy ass person who can't do really anything but can at least talk to you. So, here. If you have it, you're my friend. And if, even if you don't have it and you know me, I'm still your friend, but you know. Love you guys. <sighs> it was way harder than I thought it would be. I'm not crying yet, that's thankfully. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get ready to link stuff. Because I have a lot of links, I have promise now. And yeah. I'm talking very quietly. I don't even know if my camera can hear this. Maybe I should raise my voice again. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I want to go back. That's what I want to say. I want to go back. Okay. I want to go back there. I don't I want to go and live there for the rest of my life. I don't even care. I'm leaving everything. Taking my host club DVD, which I'm so happy that I got. And, oh, and I met, I met uh, American England, UK and US. Jamie, I met them. I hugged UK. I'm awesome. What's this? I'm awesome. Okay, whatever. I'm awesome. And I met three Grills at the same time, and I hugged Sebastian like a million times, and I hugged an Axel, a Demix, a Marluxia, a Vexen, and, and, and the twins. I hugged Honey, and Mori, and not Koya because he was scary, and Tamaki. I hugged Tamaki! <laughs> and he came there on a flying... Uh, what are all those things? Um... Oh, Segwheel! He got there on a flying Segwheel. At least that's what he said, but I don't really believe it. And I did the twins. The Honey said that he saw it, so I believe him. I'm just rambling now because I'm thinking back of stuff I remember that just popping out like everywhere. And oh my god, I met this really cute uh, cosplayer who was doing Maka from Soul Eater and she was so adorable and then we met Zol and, and oh my god, we met Snow Child and the Care Bear Fag. Okay, I'm just gonna stop now because I'm fangirling too much. I love you guys. I'm talking way too fast. You can't even understand me. I must put subtitle something on this. No, I'm not going to. That's too much work. I'm not even going to edit this. You're just going to see me sit here and talk. Anyway. Knas på er. Och jag älskar allihop om ni var på Appcon. Hoppas ni tycker om den här videon om ni såg den. Hoppas ni förstår vad jag sa. Älskar dig jättemycket. Speciellt du, Albin, Kim, Kim Bon, Vexen, Marlusha, återigen, Axel, Demix, Lexi. Helt jävla underbar människa, du har stöttat mig så otroligt mycket så det var otroligt underbart för mig att få dela den här, den här resan med dig. Älskar dig och godnatt.